Hi, my name is Kamanzi and welcome to my sofa set. I'm 20 years old from Uganda. Um, please enjoy yourself. Sit wherever you are or stand or whatever it is you're doing. Um, I hope you enjoy yourself. So during this lockdown or quarantine, I've really been just saturating in being able to like figure out my sound as a musician and generally just like figure out who I am as an individual. And so in that process, I've been able to do lots of collaborations with people, um, which has really opened my eyes to see different people's like prof um, the way they, they, they're able to create music and generally just like express themselves. So um, first, I like to sing a song in um, Luganda called Wentambula, written when I was around 13, which is 2013, for those of you who do not know how to count. Um, yeah, um, I wrote it while I was in a band called Intensity with a couple of my girls. One got married two days ago, actually. Shout out to Michaela. Um, yeah, and basically it's just talking about how um, through the walk of life and, you know, the ups and downs, the hills and valleys of life, Christ is, is really always there. And so, yeah, we, yeah, just enjoy it. <laughs> Nalinga ntambula mumbere mbi Tewandeka twalife mbi Mukama onkole debi nchi Kati nkwe taga njangu jendi Himba nalinga ntambula mumbere mbi Tewandeka twalife mbi Mukama onkole debi nji Kati nkwe taga njangu jendi Labeled as brave But hiding from the truth Stuck in rivers Fear of what lies ahead There's a light Shining and it calls on you Stuck in rivers, fear of what lies ahead There's a light shining as it calls on you Truth is He and He is true be honest, there's not much we can do. Would you much rather be held in his arms than lost in abyss, but you're searching, searching for the truth? So that was when Tambula by Intensity and Kamanzi. Um, yes, recently I met someone called Kasura, a Ugandan who's really also trying to master his craft as both a producer and a, as a singer, and I think electric player as well. And uh, we were able to write this together. So shout out to Kasura. This song is called Simani, which means, um, it means I don't know. Literally. So we were already doing lockdown because we we're just like, wow, we're trying to, to figure out who we are and we really don't know who we are in different aspects of life. Like people asking us like, okay, what are you going to do? Or what are you doing during quarantine? Or what are you like, what are you? Who are you? We really don't know. So that's really what the song is about. Um, yeah, so enjoy. <laughs> How does it matter? How does 
does one find those answers? How can I be conscious enough to break through the dark? Be the umeme in my life, only yesterday is a guarantee. So tell me, how am I then supposed to live? Only yesterday is a guarantee. So tell me, how am I then supposed to be? Simani, Simani. I don't know. Simani, Simani, Simani. I don't know. Simani, Simani. I don't know. Simani, Simani. Oh, only yesterday is a guarantee. Oh, tell me, how am I then supposed to live? Only yesterday is a guarantee. So tell me, how am I then supposed to live? Simani, Simani. I don't know. Simani, Simani, Simani. I don't know. Simani, Simani. I don't know. Simani, Simani, Simani. So that's just a small, um, short, brief version of the song. So listen out. Go subscribe to his page, his YouTube page, my YouTube page, and uh, check out more of our music. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm very passionate about in this life generally is my family. Love those guys to death. Um, and not just like blood related family, but even friends that have become close enough to be family, people who you can rely on, people who are there to listen. And so um, I'm going into now a phase of, of singing about my family. But um, I wrote a song called Pity Party a while ago when my family, my blood family, was going through a lot at home and I just felt um, that my response towards some of the things that happened at home and, and, and all that was not um, right. Um, I don't go too deep into that. But yeah, I wrote the song which is predominantly a sad song. Um, you'll tell by the tone and everything. It's called Pity Party and basically um, the song starts with a girl who's just like shameful and just like her mind is so convoluted, like she just does, like she just doesn't know how to feel. And by the end of the song, um, she has been encouraged to just like keep it moving um, and just stop crying. Move, like let's move. You know, um, there's a time to cry. There's a time to just get up and like move on with life. And so yeah, that's basically what the song is about. Um, hopefully, you can relate as well. So here is pity party. <laughs> Say, Mama used to say, when a star twinkles, a prayer is heard in heaven. But right now, all that she could feel.
Let the mic pass you by Speak up cause you know what's going on inside There ain't nobody in the whole damn world Who's gonna tell it like you tell it Call me passive or aggressive Yeah it's true We're each one of a kind Different mystiques, beautiful minds If only we could make the most of what we all got to say Turn up the volume and speak up With deep sobriety, no anxiety It's time to speak up Time has come for me to rise I will not sit here and cry Every time I open my eyes I'm reminded of your love No more pity parties That was PT Party. Whew, yeah. Um, so the next song is called Two in a Billion. My mom and I are super close. Like she's literally my best friend. So I wrote this about her. Well, about two of us because it's two in a billion. So about her and I. But um, I just want to thank her so much for just like being my anchor in life. And also, well, you could, this could be relatable for you depending on which person you have, that, that one person who's just like your ride or die, like your person, um, be it your mother or your father or your sibling or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whoever it is. Um, for me, it's my mom and she's just really, you know how we're all going through so much in life? Um, there are people who like you wonder, like, eh man, I'm telling you my stuff and it's heavy and they have their own load to carry. That's literally my mom. Like she like I know that she has so much to carry, but she's also been able to carry a lot of my weight, both, you know, psychologically, emotionally, um, financially. <laughs> in every yeah, uh, in basically every every aspect. So yeah, this is this is about her. Um enjoy. Uh. Not gonna lie and say it's easy. I, 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 I'm trying to align my soul and my mind. Whoa, my mind, my mind's in circles. I don't understand why I, I have too many burdens. Burdens inside, but you took all the bullets for me. I don't know why. Why? Oh, oh. Cried the tears for me when I had no strength to cry. Mm -hmm. Tore off the placards of hatred that sat on my soul. Oh. Uh, showed me who love is and told me, hold tight, never let go. Never, no, 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 never Did you show me the slightest contempt? And you held me Though it was not easy You picked up all the pieces for me Two and two and a billion. 
Billy On to and a Billy On to and to and a Billy For me when I had no strength to cry Ooh, Tore off the placards of hatred that sat on my soul And you held me Though it was not easy You picked up all the pieces for me Two in a billion, two and two in a billion, on two in a billion, two and two in a billion, on two in a billion, two and two in a billion, on two in a billion, two and two in a billion. Remember that all the donations that are going to be sent, that you guys are going to send, send, are going to go straight to me. I'm going to explain where they're going to go. But before I do, I want to sing a song that I find like so weird. Like it's such a weird song. It's such a weird song. Um, so it's called Tambula. First of all, it's not complete yet. Um, it just has, Tambula means uh, walk, to walk in Luganda. Um, so yeah, it kind of has those vibes even when you're like listening to it. But I wrote this during my, it was either O or A level when I was, I was really hustling um, education wise. Like I had so much to do and so much to balance and it just felt like a lot. And so this, is, this song is basically a conversation between success and failure. Um, so uh, failure starts the conversation and um, he's just like, by the way, I'm here to stay. And I'm not that bad after all. Like, you can just become complacent and just chill with me, you know. And then success later comes in and says, yo, get up and walk. Like, keep it moving. So that's what um, Tumblr is about. Yeah, so enjoy. <laughs> together till the end stay with me it's only a matter of time till you see i'm not as bad as they make me to be just keep walking on place where I think you belong Through the highs and lows Just keep holding on Just keep holding on To the place where I think you belong Through the highs and Just keep holding on 
So like I said, it's not complete, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my thing fell out. Let me just fix it. So um, I said I would explain where the donations are going. At the beginning of this lockdown, um, my grandfather was diagnosed with um, leukemia. Now, like I said, I'm very passionate about my family. I love my family. Um, he's been diagnosed with cancer before, and he it was it was really a long it was it was a journey like a re, it was really heavy during that time because he um, he basically had no hope. You know, like when the doctors are like, yo, we've done all that we've, we, we could do, so just like prepare. So we literally prepared, like we, you know, we were ready to just, you know, bury the guy. But by God's grace, he lived, he's alive. And uh, so this happened and he was diagnosed again. And it was, I don't know, it was, it was hard, but... I mean, we'd, we've been through it before. Obviously, it's hard, but we've been through it before. And so I was kind of like telling God, you know what, eh? <laughs> the first time I fretted so much, everyone was fretting and was just like, oh my gosh, how do we do this? How do we handle this? Because it's literally like the cornerstone of the family. Um, and now my response towards this news was a lot different because I was just like, you know what, God? Everything is in your hands. Um, just like, just do do whatever is according to your will and give us the strength to handle. And so I wrote the song about him. Um, his name is Xavier, which I think is such a, like, such a cool name. Xavier X, you know, with the X and everything. It's really cool. And so, yeah, I wrote this about him. Now, my grandfather, as of about two years ago, stopped hearing. And he got hearing aids and everything, but they couldn't work. So um, the beginning of the song is basically saying that I know you're not going to hear this. Um, so if you don't know the story, this is why I'm telling you the story, so that it's not confusing for you. If you don't know the story, you could think that I'm saying, like, oh, you're going to, like, I've lost hope or anything or, or everything. And, like, I'm saying, God, just play him the song in heaven. No, he really can't hear, even if, like, I went and sang the song for him. So I'm just like, whenever he does go to heaven, God will play the song for him so that he knows um, where my heart was at during this entire thing. So this is Xavier, the final song. And um, yeah, all your donations will be going straight to contribute towards his, um, you know, everything, all the bills. And yeah, so thank you guys for listening. This is the last song, Xavier. Enjoy. back for you in heaven, heaven, I, I think it's time to place my hopes and dreams for you into God's hands. Don't cry. Ooh, ooh. Guess 
I'm not that big no more I'm not that big no more oh, 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 yeah. They say big girls don't cry yeah. Guess I'm not that big no more oh, Zabia, Zabia Ora cose, ora cose chane Zabia, Zabia Ora cose chane, ni kubera wawe Thank you for listening. Enjoy your day. This has been Kamanzi Set. <laughs>